Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today I have some great news for those of you who are Roku 3 owners. The YouTube app has officially come. The official YouTube app. This isn't a hack or some private channel, but the official YouTube app from Google. On December 17th, Google has officially announced that the Roku 3 will now support the YouTube channel. It's about time. I have no idea why Google or Roku wouldn't shout this from the mountaintop. I didn't see any commercials. I didn't see anything. I happened to stumble across it visiting the channel store and seeing the featured app for YouTube. Unfortunately, according to the blog, the app is only supported by the Roku 3. But don't worry. I'm sure somebody will hack it on to an earlier Roku. To get the YouTube channel, all you have to do is visit the blog. The link will be in the description and click on this, the YouTube channel. And it will open up your Roku page, make sure you're signed in. And then all you have to do is click the install button. There'll be a red install button here. You can also install it from this link in the description. And this is a good link to have if you're installing private channels as well. So all you do is type in YouTube and add the channel. Yes, add the channel and you're all set. If you want to install it from the Roku, all you have to do is to go into the channel store and be signed in, and you'll find it right there in Featured. Once you install it, if you don't see it on your Roku, just go into Settings and go up to System Update and click System Update, Check Now. It will automatically update. You can see we're on Software Version 5.3, Build 4.0.16. Okay, now that we have the app, Let's check it out and see what it's all about. The first thing you want to do when you open up your YouTube app is to go into the gear icon and sign in. So what it's going to do, it's going to tell you to go to any browser, including mobile, youtube.com, activate. And it's going to ask you to choose an account. And you're going to put that code in that you see there. and click continue and allow access so on the Roku you will now be signed in you can also pair a device and all you have to do is go to youtube.com forward slash pair and enter the code and basically you've now added a casting button to whatever device you set up with your Roku. So now when we go to a video, maybe on an early version, we can hit this button here to, and you could see you want to upgrade your iOS that we can shoot it over to our Roku. Your now. iOS firmware to 5.3 to get Bluetooth compatibility. Keep and control it from the device that you're streaming from or from the Roku controls. So now that we're signed in and we're paired to our device, we can also pair to multiple devices or you can delete uh, de paired devices and sign out and everything. So let's now go use the arrow buttons and we're going to see what else it has to offer on this great YouTube Roku app. So we have my subscriptions. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, people that I follow. There's a search button. You can either search with the Roku remote or even use your mobile device now that it's paired. You can also, um, you see, watch later videos, my activity, uh, my watch history, my uploads, recommend it, and then a whole bunch of different people that I follow and different categories. It also has trends and my favorites and all of my playlists. And then that is pretty much everything and let's now take a look at the quality uh, they boast that it's HD so let's take a look at uh, I don't know this one here so we hit uh, the OK button and it starts to play hey YouTube this is Dave and today I'm going to show you Chromecast and well let me find a better example something in HD that I recorded
let's try I don't know this one hey YouTube today's video is about the introduction to Apple TV so we're talking about a full-fledged YouTube app working on the Roku 3 so anyway I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I think I answered just about everything and have a nice day and I'll see you on my next video.